My advice to the next president, president, next president, next president, the, United president, president the next president of the United, United States. States. My advice to the next president of the United States is that although we've had some failures in state building and it's very popular for politicians today to say America should not do state building. In fact, the United States national security interests really depend on this nation developing a real effective capability at state building, at doing post-conflict political follow through for any future military interventions. Inter the reason why an international terrorist would want to spend any time organizing attacks in the United States is primarily because he anticipates that our military, the military response that we hope to, that he, he is, his attacks would provoke will, by death and destruction in his region, create a kind of chaos that creates political opportunities for him. We need such enemies to anticipate that our response to their attacks would not be destruction that creates polit political chaos, but rather a destruction that can be effectively turned by us into a new political order. A capacity to effectively support democratic state building can be developed by applying lessons from America's own history of decentralized federal democracy. Democratic state building has seemed, paradoxically, to be more difficult than imperial conquest because when America tries to support the leader of a national government, that leader then has less incentive to do the hard work of negotiating a broad coalition that includes popularly trusted uh, leaders from communities uh, throughout the country. Don't run away from state building. Recognize that the failures in the past mean that we need to invest more in it. The cost, however, will be significantly less than uh, the cost of any number of exciting weapon systems that military contractors are currently talking about.